Hello and welcome to the video review of version 185. We made it! That's... Well, that's an amazing feat. If someone would have told us three months ago that we're gonna survive weekly updates, we wouldn't believe them. But look at us right now. Almost ready. Well, just a few more months. Today I have some release notes to walk you through on the basis of the current version. Can't see it here, but I got a second uh, screen showing me the game. Uh, before we jump into the game, uh, the overall idea that's been uh, on our minds for the last few weeks is both house cleaning and uh, homework, uh, in the sense that we have certain features that are in the game that work, but they're not good enough. In the sense of interface, in the sense of desired effects. So please don't take something that's in the current build as you know, being made from stone and something that's not gonna change. That's not the case. As with games development, uh, pretty much, I think in every team, um, you do something, you ship it, you play, you think, you feel, you discuss, and then you go back and do it properly and maybe you need one more approach to uh, see that it sticks, that it works. Uh, and the more mechanics are in the game, the harder it is to say, is it good? Does it make sense? You don't know, you have to run, you have to see, you have to play. Uh, before the game, one piece of news is that we're gonna take part in the next Steam uh, Games Festival, which is now called Next Fest. It's happening 10 weeks away from now. And what we're doing from this Monday onwards is looking at what we still lack in the game and trying to ship it within those 10 weeks so that we can present to everyone the best available demo that we can make. I mean, not the best in the world, but uh, we're not going to get depressed. So we're going to say the best that we can make. So it means we do our best. And, you know, if we're not good enough, then we're not good enough. But hopefully we are. Now, let's jump into the game and go over the changes! Um, I hope you will excuse the uh, Japanese interface right here. So, on the mulligan screen, a uh, few changes. Every character now has their inventory. Because characters come with items, and this is the party inventory that you're going to have as the result of assembling five characters in the game. What do you see here is the uh, strongest stat, the weakest stat, and then one of the traits. We're getting ready to ship traits. So here you can see that this poor looking fellow makes spicy food. And why this is good? Because spicy food restores fatigue. I'm gonna take him. The traits are not in the game yet functionally, but we already um, found a way to throw them into the interface as we get ready to this. Well, let me see. This guy could be his brother, and he's an excellent fisher. So you see, that's uh, expanding your choice. Uh, do you want a guy because he's got iron stomach, even though his fatigue is on the low side? Well, he's excellent fisher, so maybe he's good. Uh, what about him? He hates ruins. Ah, and that's just one of the few traits, so you don't know what the other traits are. Sensitive to taste of food. And a coward. <laughs> so this could be me. Uh, come over, my friend. What about you? Very jumpy. Very jumpy means that she hates to go into encounters that have more opponents than three. Mm. I don't think so. Hates ruins. Uh, but he's hail. Okay. And finally, maybe afraid of us. No. Well, I already have someone who makes spicy food. Uh, and I don't really need any... Oh, okay, let me see who has some equipment. Uh, so she has... He has equipment that I like. So I'm going to take him over and jump into the game. Now, one thing I want to show you also is... New music! We have new music in the travel mode now, specifically for this chapter, and every chapter will have its own uh, music track. Uh, I think we had a discussion about this on Discord or with someone else, and yes, we're doing it. Now, what I have to show you 
is how much better the animation got uh so let me just like walk there um in the encounter when you have equipment so let's go here and let's say i get him uh amulet of reflection and to him i will give the same thing okay so uh, uh before we get to the encounter then let me also show you something else first of all all the traits are listed here uh now you can see that everyone has three traits um uh, it varies from two to four and it will grow as we expand the pool of traits uh the other thing here uh is mood scale uh, so we have seven mood states in the game uh, going from neutral all the way up to euphoric and all the way down to depressed uh right now it doesn't work let me just you know what let me just make music a little bit less distracting for uh, my purpose so uh, we have traits the mode traits that they don't work yet but you can read how uh, they are supposed to work so every character gets a unique negative mood trait and unique positive mood trait so when he gets depressed he suffers memory loss and the uh, worse off he is the uh, bigger the memory loss when, when he's happy he gets depressions meaning that he can see the elements that will be dealt to him ahead of that happening uh let's see uh, this guy he's got faster reaction when he's happy and he becomes anxious when he's unhappy uh, i think anxiety means that he will auto retreat from some of the encounters he suffers indigestion, so his digestive system will go down and he experiences morale boost when he's happy. So that means that he will lose some of the fatigue every few rounds if you manage to put his mood up. So the way that it's done is that traits influence the mood individually. He hates ruins, so his mood will tend to go down in the ruins. And the way that mood affects them is going to be different depending on how they generate it that's the big big change that we hope to bring in the next couple of versions next thing next updated icon here and then this is an icon of concentration uh this is the modification of concentration so we felt like with the injuries and diseases and traits that change the cost of concentration we should show you it right here so you will see this light up when something affects the costs and then you will see the description saying oh for example uh his cost of concentration is increased because of his uh mood i don't know if anyone has uh problems with concentration no nah, but i know it exists in the game now uh so that is dealt with now let me show you things that we've done in the actual in, oh, before I go there, look here. This is called personal passion. And the personal passion is connected to the dream. So here we have the dream. Let me just maybe switch to a different language. Um, so here we have a dream. Uh, some dreams can be realized and some dreams cannot. So here, look, he, he, he wants to burn down the ashes, the garrison of the empire. So his personal passion will be pulled from the pool of passions that belong to this dream and when he fulfills that passion he'll get a boost uh how does this work uh boost to mood uh so for example his personal passion given that his dream is pretty violent could be that for every legion member that is destroyed when he is present in the encounter his uh, uh mood goes up by a certain value so that's something we're going to be working on as we make dreams happen and as we make the mood work in the game now let's go to well actually let's go here and look at the equipment dealing tokens now what a hey what a so you can see now that uh, the tokens are attributed specifically to the piece of equipment right here previously we would just add tokens and we wouldn't really know why i mean we would know but you know you would 
So here we've added animated hands. That's a big change in concept in the sense of how we are displaying the spell casting area. So let's start to assemble some spell. You see, the hands have changed. We are seeing this sort of like an astral plane. So this is a still a sketch of the animation. We will work on this more in the coming week, but uh, you can see what it's coming to. Speaking of other changes, this is the new concentration icon. It used to be just a blob and now it has this uh, symbol that is also replicated right here on the character profile. So you see that the hands are animated, there are some magic effects, uh, well, you know, uh, that will keep improving. Um, so that's something that I wanted to show you. And now, oh dear me, dear me, I forgot that this chest is not unlocked with the spell, but that this chest needs some damage. Well, well, well. Hmm. We also fixed the uh, morale boost uh, progress bar, which I'm really counting on in this case. And you know what? Mm, damage means that I can first throw some acid on this chest and only then hit it with damage, which will convert the acid and you guys will see the animation of conversion as well. Alright, now I just need one damage. Where do I get it? Oh, two to one and four. Okay. So I'm gonna try to hit some blue. Nope. Well, okay. So let's skip turn and see how that goes. This version is not the one that you're gonna have in an hour or so, so it still has some minor inconsistencies. Um, yes, this is what I'm after. But I would also like some blue. Yay! Alright. So let's check conversion then. Convert it. Convert it. And the sound he heard was the sound of completed encounter. And everyone also got inspired because that was three spells in three rounds. Things are a little bit maybe a bit too slow for my taste but at the moment without the game lock we still think it's better like this than being a bit too fast now i'd like to show you also some mock shots for which i need to find a large party hmm well 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 uh this is the season of the maiden moon so a large party would be somewhere where the gigglers are these are the speeders, judging by the sound of it. Um, ba -ba -ba you know what? Let me try to walk there. Yes. I don't really want three speeders. I want six gigglers. Oh! I got poison while trying to find gigglers. Hmm. I think there should be somewhere around. No, 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 guys. I have no desire to... But, oh yes, four of them, so very good. I have no desire to battle spitters, to be honest. Oh, now there are six of them, very well. Under the rain, exactly what I wanted. So, I will wait one turn. Yes, 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 and it's the Phantom Moon season. Very well. Um, so I'm getting all those tokens and then I hope that the game uh, doesn't get stuck because in the current build there is a little bit of an issue with environmental effects. Here you can see the new mock shots of the extra creatures that will join um, the uh, encounter once these guys are removed. 
And here you can see that when the environment effect becomes active, we now show you up front, right in the middle of the screen, a big icon that explains what exactly just happened. Uh, the last thing I really need to show you today is the updated mug shots when those creatures will attack me. So uh, let me probably just skip the turn and show you this. You'll see this. He's doing a multi-turn action. Okay, here. That's the updated mug shot with uh, red background. Uh, because two of my characters have reflection tokens, I'm really lucky in that. Well, this guy put infection on himself. Alright, so again, the environment effects are acting up. And I think it's time for me to summarize the whole thing. Uh... Running through the whole thing, we are going to join the Steam Next Fest in 10 weeks. We've updated the mulligan screen to show you one of the traits that the characters have, and in general, showing you now inventory of those characters. Uh, whenever we issue equipments through... Uh, <laughs> tokens through equipment, we now show you that this is connected, the same applies to diseases and injuries. Uh, we did update its mugshots for all the creatures, so now it's extra clear who exactly is dealing you which tokens. Uh, we now show you environment effects right in the middle of the screen whenever they act up, so you understand what is going on. Uh, concentration got its own icon, and as we get ready for new features to come into the game, we've added the mood scale and the traits already into the character profile so that you uh, will have a smaller gap whenever the mechanics actually works. That's about it for this week. It's been a long week. I wish you all a very nice weekend, and I will see you in a week with a new update and in 10 weeks at the festival. See ya!